It is nighttime, it's April 14th. I find myself in the Flatiron District in Lower Midtown. I'm right by 23rd Street where Broadway Avenue intersects with 5th Avenue. Beautiful buildings in the surrounding vicinity. I'm tilting the camera. This building that you see in the distance there with the colored top, that is the Empire State Building. Let me see if I can get a better focus off it. Wonderful view of the Empire State Building from where I'm standing. On this night, April 14, the top section of the building is illuminated red and orange in honor of the Bring Back Our Girls um, social media campaign. Girls that were kidnapped uh, not long ago, a couple of months ago, by the terrorist group Boko Haram in Nigeria. In the immediate vicinity, not only can you see this incredible landmark, you can also see the MetLife building, the Metropolitan Life Insurance building. This building was completed in 1909, and from 1909 up until 1913, this was the tallest building in the world. This is another landmark in New York, one of the top five most photographed buildings in this city. However, from where I'm standing, this is not the most iconic view. If I move further down, and I will soon, if I move further down, you'll definitely recognize it. This is the legendary Flatiron Building, located by 23rd Street on the triangle created by, on one of the triangles created by the intersections of Broadway and the Fifth Avenue. Now, the northern end, there's a space that has been organized as an art exhibit space. It's sponsored by Sprint. And right now they have an interesting art exhibit by an artist named Cindy Kane. I'm going to get a little bit closer to it and take a look at the exhibit. The exhibit is called Eyes on the Ground, Journals of War by artist Cindy Kane. I'm going to read you the brief description that they have right next to the exhibit so that you get a general sense as to what this is about. The Helmet Project evolved as a natural expression of Cindy Kane's respect for journalists and her desire to create a visual tribute to their work. Kane has created an installation of 50 used steel military helmets, each a stand-in portrait for a specific journalist. She invited journalists who had covered conflicts from World War II to Iraq to collaborate with her. Kane collaged their handwritten notes and travel artifacts onto the used military helmets, transforming each helmet from sorrowful, anonymous reminder to intimate, precious object. In the process, Kane changed the ephemera of travel digitus into poignant, conceptual portraits of individual writers and created an encircling community of journalism itself. The visual impact of the installation brings home the reality of danger, risk, and vulnerability that each of these individual journalists has experienced, and the remarkable lives that they have led. going to be it for today's short video blog. Uh, if you have enjoyed this video, make sure to like it if you're on Facebook. Subscribe to my Facebook page for automatic updates when new videos become available. If on YouTube, subscribe to my channel. You can log on. You can also log on to 5dguy.com to connect to more works that I have organized. And also, if you find yourself in New York and you're looking to experience this city, so if you're looking to learn and experience this city, uh, contact me. I will be more than happy to show you around and log on to my website where I put up uh, tours that I'm leading in different sections of New York. Okay, I hope you have a wonderful afternoon or morning depending where you are and when you are watching this video. Thank you. Bye.